going on dude it's EJ from mypathtoself.com I've got two videos to record today uh, the second one is gonna be a little cooler than the first one because I prepared a little more for it it's about the special powers we have as humans uh, this one's gonna be about self-identification this is a really big concept it really helped me to put things into perspective and to stop uh, you know, giving myself negative thoughts during the day and just in general. Uh, Self-identification or identifying with your emotions or your occupation can be very detrimental to success. Uh, what self-identification means exactly, uh, you can have a sentence that begins with I am and then whatever it is. So you could identify with your emotions by saying I am angry, I am sad, I am depressed, and if you say that, you are literally giving yourself the story, telling yourself that you are that thing and you are reinforcing it in your mind. So that is a very negative thing to do. Uh, basically, what you tell yourself from day to day is your story, as Gre Greg Greenway, blah, 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 I can't even talk right now. Uh, Greg Greenway would say, uh, I'll post a link to his site below, but he talks about your story and having the right story is a, a huge part of success. And, you know, identifying with your emotions or, you know, telling yourself that you have a different emotion than you actually have is very beneficial to success. So rather than saying, I am angry, say, I feel angry. Or rather than saying, I am angry or I feel angry at all, don't identify with it. Say, I am happy, you know, like ask yourself a question. How can I get through this? this emotion and enjoy it at the same time. Uh, this, this has been really powerful for me. Uh, it's very good. It's like part of the whole positive thought loops thing. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll post a video on that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you want to. But the second part to this video is about identifying with your occupation. And this is another huge one. Uh, if you identify with your occupation, you say, I am a cashier at a grocery store, or, you know, I am a cook at a restaurant. I mean, if you are actually a cook and that's what your passion is and that's what you want to do for the rest of your life, then that is fine. But at the same time, if you tell yourself, I am the kind of person that makes minimum wage working at McDonald's, and you keep telling yourself that from day to day and you keep telling other people, you're going to believe it in your mind that that's all you're capable of. And that is not a good thing. Uh, I work, For example, I worked at Harbor Freight Tools, which is right down the street from my house. And I was a warehouse, warehouse associate. You know, I got things from the warehouse. I helped stock the sales floor. I did all of that stuff. And I enjoyed the job. I really enjoyed my coworkers and everything. But when people asked who I was, I would say I am... A warehouse associate at Harbor Freight Tools. If you really think about that, just in my store alone, it's a smaller store, there were 10 to 15 warehouse associates. So I am just one of many in my store and there are almost a thousand locations over the US. So I am one of 15,000 of this thing. That's not what I want to identify with. I want to identify as myself, as the kind of person that succeeds in everything he does, the kind of person that is happy all the time, the kind of person that inspires people, the kind of person that gets up in the morning and doesn't feel well, but fucking goes out and does what he needs to do anyways. That is who I am. I am not sad. I might be sad from time to time, but I am not sad. I might be angry from time to time, but I am not angry. I am me. That is all that matters. So uh, I really hope this helps you guys out, helps clear things up for you guys, and helps change your perspective a little bit. That's what this channel is really all about. Uh, if you like, subscribe for more videos, uh, comment below with suggestions, or if you have a request for something you want me to talk about, please comment below, uh, share to your friends. Um, but yeah, I really hope this helped you guys, and uh, I will see you in the next video.